All right, so we've seen what acid-base reactions look like in Bronsted-Lowry mode. There's pairs of chemical species, one that has a hydrogen and then one that has given it away. That's what we call an acid and its conjugate base. And then we'd have bases which have room for a hydrogen and conjugate acids which have acquired it. Now it's our turn to write those. So if you have a pair like this, this is the obvious candidate to give away a hydrogen because it's the only species here that has one. So this has got to be our acid. And what do acids do? They give away a hydrogen. So after this has given away a hydrogen, what will it look like? Well, that H won't be in the formula anymore. We'll just have NO2. And because H's carry a positive charge, which we have also lost, the total charge of this thing is now down to minus 1. Meanwhile, on the bromine, if this gains a hydrogen, well, that means you better add one to the formula. And the charge, which used to be negative 1, increases to 0, meaning no need to write anything. C6H5COOH is a heptanoic acid. This is the hydrogen which will come off. In carboxyl groups, this hydrogen, or carboxylic acids, the H in the carboxyl group is the one that's subject to popping off. So if this acid gives away a hydrogen, we'll be left with C6H5COO. No more H, and drop the charge by one. And if the sulfite ion acquires a hydrogen, then you add a hydrogen to the formula, and the charge goes up by 1, so from negative 2 to negative 1. Here, both of these contain hydrogen, so uh, it's, not, it's maybe not instantly obvious which one is the acid and which is the base, until you remember that hydroxide is like the strongest base ever. This is, ascent, this is what base is, is water with a hydrogen stripped off it, so we can be reasonably confident that this is our base. There's a way to tell this from the acid-base table, which we'll show you soon also, so if you're a little suspicious of how I'm getting to this, we'll back it up shortly. I hope you'll trust me for the moment. So if that's the base, HS is our acid. It will give away a hydrogen, so here's HS with the H missing, and the charge goes from minus 1 down to minus 2. The hydroxide gains a hydrogen, which would make it HOH, or if you want to write that H2O because it's water, that's fine too, and the charge goes from negative 1 up to 0, meaning I'm not going to write anything for charge. Zeros aren't written generally, they're suppressed. Hydrofluoric acid, this is the only thing here that has a hydrogen to give, so apparently it's our acid, and its conjugate base will be F-, minus. lose an H and lose a charge. This gains a hydrogen, so we have hydrogen and sulfur, and the total charge goes from negative 2 up to negative 1. Ethanoic acid or acetic acid will lose this hydrogen, the one on the carboxyl group, and it loses a charge at the same time, and the nitrite ion will acquire that hydrogen, so it becomes HNO2, and its charge goes from negative 2, sorry, negative 1 up to 0. Here, this is a carboxylic acid, and it's already given away the hydrogen that it had, so it's probably trying to get that back. And H3O is a very strong acid. This will be giving away a hydrogen. When it loses a hydrogen, it becomes only H2O, and its charge goes from 1 down to 0. On the acid here, or sorry, this is just the eth ethanoate, or the acetate ion. This will gain a hydrogen on the tail end, so you get CH3COOH, and the charge goes from negative 1 up to 0. All right, so if you're an acid and you're turning into your conjugate base, you lose an H and your charge goes down by 1. If you are a base, and you're turning into your conjugate acid, what bases do is acquire hydrogen. You will gain one hydrogen, at least one, and for each hydrogen that you gain, your charge... Eh, charge does not start with G, I am sorry. Your charge will go up by one, because hydrogens carry charge. If you gain a hydrogen, you gain its charge as well. 
Okay, a little more practice just on that. All of these are acids, and they're saying what are the co what will be their conjugate bases. In other words, what will they look like after they've given away a hydrogen? Well, you write the formula again with one hydrogen gone, so NH4 turns into NH3. Also, the charge goes down by one, so from plus one down to zero. Here, lose a hydrogen. Charge goes from minus one to minus two. Lose a hydrogen. Charge goes from minus two down to minus three. And this is the opposite. This is, these are bases. If they acquire a hydrogen and become their conjugate acid, what will they look like then? So now we're going to add a hydrogen. H2PO4 becomes H3PO4. And when you gain a hydrogen, your charge goes up. So from minus one up to zero. Add a hydrogen here. Charge goes up from minus 1 to 0, and add a hydrogen here. Charge goes from minus 2 up to minus 1.